Season 4, Episode 13, Man of Worth Must You Fight the Same Fight Again? Do you not recall how it ends? In the season premiere of the Fraser's American Adventure, Outlander prompted big questions, why bring Claire and Jamie to this place, at this moment in history? To what purpose did they cross the ocean into the tumult of colonial America? The season has struggled to answer. For one thing, it spent more narrative energy on bringing familiar faces back into the Fraser's circle than on giving those characters much to do. Some of those reunions were satisfying, as when Brianna joined her family through the stones. Some were convenient, as when Lord John moved in next door. And then there was Bonnet, whose ability to appear in every aspect of the Fraser story strained credulity. All this busy work pushed some characters into the background. Take Ian particularly noticeable this episode after he agreed to stay with the Mohawk in exchange for Roger. The show made time for a heart-wrenching goodbye, and the actors John Bell and Sam Hewen did a great job. But that moment brought into relief how scattered this season has been. And Claire's darting in for a last-second goodbye reminded us that she was practically demoted to a supporting act for large stretches of this season. That is even more unfortunate considering that when Claire was at the fore, it was usually during strained, and often failed, attempts to engage race issues. Slavery didn't stop anyone from accepting hospitality at River Run, even Brianna. Jamie honored the Cherokee's fight against land grabs, only to claim 10,000 acres. When the Cherokee were upset by that, Jamie won them over with a classic white savior move. Some beats, like this episode's Cowboys and Indians opening vignette suggest the show is aware of the fraught history here. But watching this episode, that's hard to imagine. In the Mohawk village, Claire discovers her necklace belonged to Otter Tooth, a fellow time traveler. He came back to warn the Mohawk against encroaching colonials. Many dismissed him, but some remembered his words a generation later, you will be forgotten. The nations of the Iroquois will be no more. No one will tell your stories. Everything you are will be lost. There's a lot going on in that pronouncement. As a warning about genocide, it is correct. There is also a fatalism about the disappearance of culture that touches on a discussion as old as America. I'm not in a position to parse the issues of erasure and cultural preservation this line touches upon, but Native American nations still exist, and projects like Real Engine and American Indians and children's literature have explored the importance and impact of these stories, and of who gets to tell them. One thing is for sure, it's hard to fault Otter Tooth's point here, given how things play out. As Claire bargains for help with rescuing Roger, she promises a small group of Mohawk to help you preserve the memory of the man who fought for your future. This word salad oath heralds a rush to put this whole plot to bed. The jailbreak collapses in violence and their Mohawk ally is banished. Claire and Jamie offer no assistance. And as soon as Roger is back, the episode drops the Mohawk entirely, returning to the plantation and the Frasers. Sure, the Frasers are the center of this story, but after learning about the crushing tragedy of Otter Tooth's mission and after the disaster the Frasers wrought among the Mohawk, Cutting back to Brianna's labor and her inevitable reunion with Roger in the last act felt a little hollow. Outlander is clear about the difficulty of changing history, after two seasons of striving, Culloden still happened. But it is equally clear that individual choices count, and that working toward a better future gives the present meaning. Several moments this season made Claire aware of the precarious position of Native Americans, the government's bigotry, Otter Tooth's ghost. Adoy's murder, Settler's violent suspicions. This episode made her debt to history explicit and immediately forgot it, Otter Tooth's worst fear coming true. So much for New World, New Ending. This season had its moments. The Fraser fallout was compelling, Lord John's ascent to best beard in the colonies was fun, and some supporting characters got moments to shine. But overall, the season was marked by scattered storytelling rushed relationships and engaging history to no good end. Let's hope next season finds focus, and remembers a few of those promises.